What's up y'all, it's Timmy. I basically just picked up a brand new whitewater kayak yesterday in Denver. I got a Jackson Nirvana, which is all the new technology in kayaks, just crazy rockered, super rockered bow and stern and a ton of volume, kind of a wide boat, so really stable. I think it's gonna be sweet. So we're gonna go run a solo run down Royal Gorge and uh, I'm gonna go test that boat out. That's our plan. We're here at the put-in Parkdale Recreational Site. Royal Gorge is right down there. So I'm gonna drop the new uh, Jackson Nirvana off right here. The catch is I have to do a shuttle myself because I'm solo and I've got to do it in the one wheel. And the shuttle is exactly 12 miles long and the one wheel's range is basically right around 12 miles on the flat ground. So we're gonna see, there's apparently like a really long uh, eight miles of uphill. So I might wind up walking out the shuttle. Here she is, Jackson Nirvana. I think this is going to be a pretty rad boat. This thing is about 91 gallon, eight foot 10, and just has a ton of rocker, a big wide bow. It just looks like a really, really awesome boat. Super stoked on it. I, I think it's gonna be pretty rad. I'm coming from an Eskimo Salto. 67 gallons and an eight foot one. This thing's like not double the volume, but like 40% more volume. Here's the bottom of it too. It's super wide too. So the Salto is pretty much 25 inches wide. This is 27 and a half, I think. Holy edges, look at these edges in this thing. Very interesting, but I really like that really wide flat bow with a bunch of rocker. I think it's gonna be sweet. It's got a whole bunch of stern rocker too, so let's go get her out. Here we go. We're down at Centennial Park, I think. Camera what it's called. One wheel battery is at 99%. Gonna go 15 miles, at least half of it's uphill. See what happens. On our way, it's uh, 15 miles to go. See how we do. In classic fashion, I forgot my freaking lock to lock the one wheel to a tree, so I'm gonna have to hide it really good. But uh, we're cruising along, making our way. 13 miles to go. We're like seven miles uphill here. Well, that's good news. We still got uh, about 38% battery. I just made it up to the top of the pass, eight miles up, 6% grade. So now we're gonna be dropping down pretty much. We made it to the downhill, yo, yeah. Uh, we're stashing the one wheel. Wish I had a lock for it, but I don't. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. After that giant snake cross the road, I saw another snake in the one wheel. I had to swerve around it. So watch out around here. Anyhow, we made it. I just wanted to stash that in a safe place. Still have 40% battery left after 13 and a half mile ride. It is hot, 90 degrees. There's the boat, sweet. Make sure there's no freaking snakes in this thing. Ooh. Let's get dressed. This is uh, the put in for a Royal Gorge, the Arkansas River. So here's kind of a low angle profile of the Jackson Nirvana. You can't tell, but it's really wide. Just got a whole bunch of rocker. I think it's gonna be super stable, super fast, and also keep the bow on top of everything. I'm freaking stoked. Let's put on and check it out. So Jackson's adjustment, their outfitting, it's really simple, but it's pretty comfortable. The uh, thigh braces, I feel like they could wrap around a little bit more. They're a little bit stabby. I like them a lot more than my Piranha thigh braces. The back band is awesome, easy to adjust. It's two ropes. You just pull it and cinch it off and it holds. So get it nice and tight, cinch it off there. It's in place. Same thing with the bulkhead. To release it, you just, this is an extra large spray skirt. See how it fits. Oop, came off the back. I like the cockpit uh, rim overhang in the back could be like a little bit bigger. A little bit tricky to get a skirt on. If the cockpit lip overhung a little bit more, you'd be able to get the skirt on a little bit easier. So it could be like one tiny improvement, but uh, it's on, let's do it. It's probably gonna feel really weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is super stable. Holy crap. Wow, it feels light. It's one ugly boat, I'll tell you that much. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna tighten up my back band a little bit more. So once again, tighten the back band up. Super easy, pop your skirt. It's two little ropes, you just uncinch them. Tighten them, cinch it off right there. Pretty sweet system. Yeah, I don't necessarily like the cockpit room. I feel like that needs to be bigger or overhang more. That might be kind of a dangerous feature if you're uh, trying to put in, in a sketchy seal launch, put your skirt on one handed, just having to work it over the sides. That is so stable. Jeez, unreal. So one thing I'm noticing is 
this boat forces you to sit really nice and upright. It puts you in a really good, uh, really good supported position. I don't know what it is. I think it's just like the height of the thigh braces and the angle of the seat and the back band and everything. It just, I feel like I'm sitting up nice and upright and in a good power position. It feels good. I did notice you do sit not really low in the boat, like my 9R, my Piranha 9R2, I felt like I was sitting a lot lower and I had to put seat pads in it. This boat, I feel higher, but these rails in the sides, you'll kind of hit them paddling. So you gotta keep your paddle a little bit higher, or I have to keep my paddle a little higher than I normally would to not hit the side of the boat. But it's just tiny adjustments like that you'll have to make. I feel like my bow is like a foot and a half off the water and it feels super wide. It just feels like it's gonna stay on top of everything, almost like a pack raft. Another feature that I like about Jackson kayaks, this is my first Jackson kayak I've ever paddled, period, is my Piranha boat. It has these security grab loops, which work great for strapping your boat down to your car to keep it from sliding forward and back on the rack but you can't fit a normal NRS cam strap buckle under and through that. Jackson kayaks, you can. It's big enough to fit the whole cam buckle under there. You've got like yurt rentals over there. Okay, it looks like we have arrived at uh, maybe the beginning of the rapids. I'm not too sure. This is just a little ways down from those yurts back there. I have no idea what these rapids are like. I know they're like kind of class four, four plus, somewhere in there. And uh, it goes into a box canyon, so. We'll take our time and uh, work our way down, see what happens. Thank you for letting me be here, Arkansas River, Royal Gorge. Keep me safe, show me good lines, and freaking stoked, stoked to be here. Excited to see how this boat does too. This will be like a really good low water test for this boat. Go go really slow over this first one, let's see. Oh yeah, bow stays so dry. <laughs> you know what's really nice is we have the sun to our backs right now. Man, this boat is so stable. The water's really low, so I'm hoping I can kind of eddy hop it and boat scout it instead of get out, but we'll just have to get down here and see. I do not know the lines whatsoever. A little ledge here. So here's the dilapidated house. So below this is, I believe, the biggest rapid in the river. I mean, the edges on this boat are really cool. Uh, if you want to carve it, you can just kind of lean and it'll just engage that edge and take off. It looks extremely congested at this level. So this is like 310 CFS, I think. I think we can just boof off this. Let's see if we can boat scout our way down. It's good practice for this boat too. Let's see how maneuverable it is. Oh, the bow on this boat is just awesome. I think we got it. I think it's going to be very boily looking boof and uh, through the slot down there. A nasty backwash, so I better clear it. Good thing I got this boat. It's the one thing about paddling solo, you definitely need to be a little more on it. Make sure you see your line and stick with your line and just make sure to stick it. Here we go. Woo. Yeah. And just like that, we're in Royal Gorge. I want to really kind of test out this boat's low volume maneuverability. There's all these high water runs people are doing in it and reviews, but people don't always get to boat high water stuff. So just wanted to get out on a run that's like kind of bony and got a lot of moves you got to make, see how it responds just compared to my short eight foot long Salto. I'm getting used to the edges. They're pretty nice. Like when you want to like really carve into eddy or like carve away from something. You can not only like take a backstroke, you can kind of lean that way and the boat kind of shoots across. Like that. I just turn my hip and the whole boat turns around. Next we have this big boulder right there on the right, the really tall one. I believe the guidebook said that's the next big rapid. And it's about a, a third of a mile below first big rapid where the house was and i think guidebook said to stay kind of left and then work your way back over because there's like a big hole on the right oh yeah i can see this being a huge hole i think we're good yes we're good let's do it This kayak is nuts, man. This is the most stable kayak I've ever paddled. 
super solid feeling. Freaking fast too. Wow, look at this canyon. So the railroad's right up there. I think a tourist train still runs through here, but I don't think they use it for freight or anything anymore. Down the chute. That is a sieve over there. Let's not go there. The edges are so cool in this thing. I usually hate edgy kayaks. I've always liked planing holes, but I like the edges on this. They don't trip you up in the rapids, but when you like really get up on the edge, it'll really help turn you faster. Wow, this is so cool. I tell you, man, I just feel so fortunate just to be on this road trip and just feel like I'm just living my dreams. It's like the things I want to do in life, I'm able to do. And it's honestly too, like I couldn't have pulled this off without YouTube, like the, it's this road trip. Like I couldn't afford all this diesel and expense of it. And, be able to make money while I'm not working in a stationary place. So it's been a real game changer. It changed my perspective on a lot of stuff and I'm pretty happy with it. This is a really cool canyon. Whoa! Check out the bridge up there. It's like an old plume. This getting kind of boxed in up here too. Hopefully there's nothing too crazy. That bridge up there, I swear, that's at least 500 feet. That just looks so high up. It almost looks sketchy down here. I don't really know what's going on. Hope there's not like a weird dam or something. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. I'm gonna sneak right through here. Super shallow. <laughs> I freaking love exploring new places. It's like my favorite thing to do. Royal Gorge. It's beautiful. Really, really deep too, it looks like. And this water, keep in mind, this is super low. This river is usually raging. Like this thing gets up to 5,000 CFS, probably higher. Cut over there. I'm 100% sold in this boat. I just really like it. Really like it. It just feels good. I can't tell that it's super wide either. Like it's, I mean, you have to paddle a little bit higher with your hands to not hit the sides, but it's way more stable than my uh, Eskimo Salto or like or my 9R2. It doesn't feel a ton wider, even though it is so much work it's crazy the effort humans put into things man got a little something something coming up can't quite tell let's give it Woo. yeah this boat handles really well in low water stuff i'm actually really impressed it maneuvers way better than my 9r2 does a lot easier to turn Tell you something else I noticed when you hit rocks in this boat under your butt, you don't really feel it too much. It's nice and padded. It's just eddy down here. See how this thing eddy hops. See how it whips in eddies. I'm not even gonna hit it that fast. See. Oh yeah. <laughs> this boat is sweet. Uh -huh. I like it. Well, we are just about back to the truck. The artificial whitewater park is right up here around this corner, I believe, where that train is. Their takeout will be on the right. That was a cool run. There wasn't as much white water as I thought would be in there. Just all kind of packed right around those bigger drops and kind of a long float out, but it was super pretty. 
totally worth doing once at least. Oh, the takeout's right there, nice. This thing surfs, nice. First time surfing it. Let's try a roll. Yeah, it was a gorgeous canyon. I'd never been through Royal Gorge back there. Oh, so you went through the gorge? Yep. That's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll do it again soon. Peace, y'all.